why I am not feeling better in spite of using inhaler. Doctors told me to use inhaler, I am using inhaler, but I am not better. So this is the common uh, doubts what patients have. Have a look at my video for those answers. I will be telling you about the different types of inhalers that are available, how to use the meter dose inhaler, how to use the dry powder inhaler, what are the right techniques in using the inhaler and end up with telling you the common mistakes that are usually being done by the patients and how to correct them. Hello everybody, I am Dr. Krishnan from the uh, Krishna Hospital Cochin. Uh, with me is Agila, uh, who is a uh, staff nurse here. Good sir, sorry. Uh, sir, many, pe uh, many patients are complaining uh, that uh, they are taking the inhaler but uh, the, the symptoms are not subs uh, subsiding well. What's the reason, sir, behind that? Yes, because most patients, as a doctor, we prescribe the inhaler, we tell them how to use it. Okay. But most people, what happens is that method of using the inhaler, the technique is not correct. Okay, that is the most common reason we find. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Uh, then next uh, question is, uh, uh, sir, uh, there is so many methods and types. Could you please explain me that? Yes. So, inhaler are different. The most common is this one. Okay. And this is the uh, meter dose inhaler, where you press and the medicine goes inside. Inside. Then this is a different inhaler. It's called dry powder inhaler, where you put a capsule and then you breathe in. Okay. Hmm? Okay. So, I'll tell you the first one here. So, how this is the uh, inhaler. Okay. So, how do we use this inhaler? We have to shake it. Okay. Keep it in the mouth. So first you breathe out, keep it in the mouth, then as you breathe in this you should press this. Okay. In yeah. each puff we need to shake. Shake. Okay. So first we have to shake once. Okay. Keep it right in the mouth. I breathe out. As I breathe in, I press. Hold for five seconds. Okay. Breathe out, then I take this out. Okay. Uh, you you written in the case note. Already two puff in each time. Uh, in second, at a time. Yes. At a time. Uh, that time also one puff. After that, uh, take a breath in and out. Then again breathe out. Then take. Yes. So Is after one puff, you wait for thirty seconds. Okay. Then same procedure. You have to shake. Okay. Same same procedure. Keep it in the mouth. Press. Breathe out. Then we try to bring this up. Thank you for the explanation. Then most probably the uh, children's uh, pediatric cases are coming here, uh, main uh, asthma, as you know. But uh, how they are taking, uh, how to administer the medication, sir? Yes. So for uh, children also, uh, we suggest uh, this sort of inhaler. Okay. Because as I said, there is another type of inhaler called, uh, this is a rotor caps, which is the, uh, the medicine comes in this. Okay. We can take it from the cover. Put, uh, keep it inside the machine and breathe. Okay. Hmm? Okay. So, so this is the uh, rotor okay. So This is the machine called you have rotor inhaler, rebolizer. Okay. Hmm? So this is like you can uh, open it. You can open it fully. Okay. Hmm? Fully, and then we put this uh, inside. Okay, we'll close it. Then I, uh, as the patient, the patient has to keep in the mouth. Quickly he has to breathe in. Okay. So this medicine will go, go inside. Okay. So here the problem is they should coordinate properly. The breathing should be fast. Okay. Hmm? okay. And then after that remove this uh, can. Remove it. Okay. Similarly, uh, this is another. You are familiar with this patient yes. who I have shown you how to use, how to use that. So you remove the can. Then you twist it. Hmm? Capsule. Yeah. Put this capsule inside. We close it. Okay, and then we press. After pressing, so the medicine gets broken inside. The capsule is broken. Keep it here. Breathe. Okay. Then take the medicine out. Okay. So this is the uh, different type of inhaler. Now this is all dry powder inhaler. Okay. So in that we have another one called. Uh, this is one type. This is how it works. Is open the cap here. Okay. Keep it here. Breathe. That means medication already filled in, inside. It's inside. Okay. But you don't have to press anywhere. Okay. So those who are not comfortable with uh, pressing and they don't know how to coordinate, okay. this is much more easier. Only thing they need a little uh, inspiratory pressure. Okay. So it's very simple also. Okay. Similarly, you have uh, this sort of inhaler. Here also it is like this. You open it. Medicine is inside. Keep it here. Breathe in. And then you throw it. Oh. Okay. Sir. Right? I'll show you once again. Open. Yes, 
It's important to gargle the throat after using the inhaler. For the children, we are using uh, any other uh, supportive system? Yes. So what happens is, uh, many times uh, the children will not be able to use this properly. Yeah. And even some adults also are not familiar, when they try to use it, the medicine goes out. Oh. So we suggest them using a spacer. Okay. Hmm? So we shake the medicine, keep it inside, keep the spacer here. And then press it and then try to hold it as I said earlier. Press it. Okay. Not, not able to hold too much also. Two, three times he can breathe in so that all the medicine will go inside. Okay. Hmm? So we can use breathe in and breathe out same spacer. Mm -hmm. spacer. Okay. So after one puff, wait for another 30 seconds. Okay. Shake again, same way. Okay. Now for children specifically, what happens is children below four years or five years. Even with this, uh, we ask them to keep in mind they will not cooperate. Yeah. Or when they are very agitated, when they are lying down and sleeping, also you can do. So this, yeah. you are familiar with this? Yes, sir. Yes. So this is the uh, uh, spacer. Spacer. This is the baby mask. Okay. Right? Okay. So how do we keep this? This has to go in the baby's nose and the mouth. Okay. Keep it here. Same. Shake it. And then press. So here the baby will not be able to hold, but they can breathe in and breathe out through this. In the same way, okay. Hmm? Uh, sir, I have one, doubt, one more doubt also. Uh, there is a common mistake that patients are doing. What's that, sir? Can yeah. you please explain? Yeah, because if you tell them how to use all this, okay. they make some mistakes. So are you familiar what what uh, usually people uh, uh, mistakes are doing? Yes, uh, because uh, they are using this uh, inhaler like this and uh, they are not taking inside the brain and the medication is going out. Okay. Uh -huh. that, uh, that's the main mistake I saw there. Uh, but uh, some people start telling we can't able to uh, inhale properly. Uh, so maybe that's also a common mistake. Yes. So by inhaling where we they can use a spacer. Now the mistake why the medicine is going out is what they do is they keep the either they don't shake yeah. one thing. Mm -hmm. Second thing they keep the uh, medicine upside down. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yes, sir. Third thing is when they press, what happens is they don't breathe, breathe in properly. After taking all the breath, they just keep hold the breath and then they press. So you saw the medicine going out. Okay. There is any position to use, sir? Position. Yes. Uh, so ideally, the position should be that your chin up, chin up position, so that when you press, the medicine goes directly inside. Okay. Okay, okay. Another mistake: what they do, they they keep it here, they don't close the mouth properly, and then press two times immediately. Like yeah. And then they feel the medicine goes inside. So you have noticed with all many of the patients, yes, isn't sir, it? Yes, sir. So now that uh, I think you are also telling them how to use yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. So I, I already think, I I already teach them. Yes. But uh, maybe they, they are not following properly, I think. <laughs> so I think this video should help them, you know. Yeah, sir. So thank you. Yes. Uh, thank you. I hope uh, the inhaler techniques and methods are clear.